Good morning, America. I don't know about you, wherever you are, my good friends, but uh, to what? Today is 73, and tomorrow is going to be 75 degrees in the arid zone. <laughs> so if you're freezing your butt, maybe you should move here. Anyway, um, let's see. Um, first of all, again, hey, it's Christmas Day. And of course, I'm working. So um, Merry Christmas to all of you. Again, chances are I probably will be working on the New Year's Day. So depending on the news and depending on what's going on, I'm definitely going to be making a video or not. Okay, so as always, let's. it's time to share the screen. Okay, and uh, here we go. Uh, today we have a uh, um, little bit of a sadness in my heart today because... Um, you know, I like the UFC. I I like Stephen Bonner. I like all these great guys. Uh, since uh, I'm an Aries myself, Dragon's Head. Uh, I, I, I like anything that is Martian, you know, aggressive, competitive, a pioneer, a danger. And that's why all my life I was into, you know, constructions, welding, heavy equipment, uh, running doses and, and bulldozers and loaders and cranes on many, many U.S. Navy bases. And in the process, of course, I busted my back. So that's why I need a back surgery. But um, this is a very, very uh, sad day for me because, uh, you know, Stephen Bonner was definitely somebody special. And he died. And, of course, uh, they said... Uh, that he died because uh, of his heart. And wow, well, again, uh, and the problem is I, I could have saved his life had he known me or had his mother had a reading with me. It may not make sense just yet, but I'm asking you to um, just pay attention. We're going to do his stars later on, okay? We're going to go through the very reasons to why he died so early another wasted life in my book. So I'll be patient, okay? All right, so again, if you take the time to read my uh, SOS to the World Deadly Window or watch the video, the quatrant, ugly face of death and the keyword Russia and famous death once again is undeniable and reflects the reality of my UFO predictive legacy. The head of a major Russian shipyard dies suddenly, no cause given. Knowing that we are moving into a shocking, surprising window, earthquake, sudden release of energy, shocking news, shocking videos, so just be prepared. But the keywords don't lie, Russia and famous death. All right, we had a few of those that die during this window. Now, the problem I have is that I'm trying so hard to make you aware that traveling, doing things, signing important contract, or even start a new business, whenever you feel like, ain't gonna work, my friend. Okay, uh, because it fits your calendar, because, okay, that's your day off. Uh, okay, we're gonna get married on that day. We're gonna sign a contract. We're gonna go on holidays. We're gonna take a place. We're making plan to take a plane a few weeks ago on Christmas. Uh, wait a minute here, wait a minute here. That is not only the human calendar. That is also the spiritual calendar or God cosmic design. Okay. So if you want to waste time, waste money, waste your holidays and suffer and even die, be my guest. Again, God don't speak to fools, my good friend. Okay. So one thing that you have to be cautious and you may not be aware of it. You probably love to hear my work. But pay attention to what I'm going to say to you right here, right now. Okay. This sad chain of endless deadly news will never stop. I'm working my butt off trying to stop it. Okay. Doing my best to save one single life. Okay. So this will never stop. If you do not become the critical channel I need to share my work, remember, I've been fired. The reptilians are against me. They're stopping me every single step of the way to reach you with my cosmic wisdom. So if you do not share it, uh, that's going to bring you some karma. So just be aware. I'm warning you. 
if you really enjoy my work and you say, yes, 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 let me have you all that. It's like feeding yourself and not sharing karma. So if you enjoy my work, if you like my work, you know where I am. You know my heart is pure. You know I want to help people. Please help me. That's all I'm asking you. Make it a commitment next year when you see any of my video or any of my newsletter to share it to a friend. And don't worry if they call you a lunatic. I've been called a lunatic all my life. Look where I am. All right, look at this. All these people in these cars, a lot of kids, a lot of people suffering, crying, being upset. Oh my gosh. We're going to go, we're going to try. Why? Why? Okay, you need to pay attention to my warning because if you don't know about those deadly plutonic winds, the consequences are going to be deadly. When I said avoid large groups, some of these kids did not know. So five of them were arrested after 19 year olds were killed at the shopping center in the US. Now others, oh, well, let's take, let's take a very, very dangerous expedition and go on the, and Mount Everest, for example. And they all, and 10 of them died. Jesus, have mercy, pay attention. Now, a myriad of other people all over the world, they cannot control their powerful, deadly emotion that are dictated by the reptilians who have hijacked their body, their mind, and their soul. Okay? And they go at each other's, and they kill each other's. Sometimes for nothing. Nothing that really makes sense to me as a normal human being. Now, there is the sad news. Stephen Bonner, because of death, how did the UFC star die? Well, let me tell you how he died when we go down to his chart. Now, um, I, like I did so many times before, including lately with Michelle White Dog suicide, okay, only a soul doctor can tell you what really is happening as far as this premature death is concerned with Stephen Bonner. And again, this is why the father of medicine clearly said, my good friend, you cannot call yourself a physician of, or a doctor if you do not study astrology. So since I'm about to teach for the last time all the secrets of the cosmic code, I'm going to give you an idea how you can be very precise, especially if you're a psychologist, if you're a doctor, if you're involved in mental research, or if you want to help someone, or if you want to understand the situation with a friend or a loved one, whatever it is, it's all written in light. It's all written in light, my good friend. And all I want to do is to explain that to you. First of all, if you put your hand on my 2023 Nostradamus Dragon forecast, okay, this is what you will read. All of those born in April or souls with the sun sign in Aries, Libra, the moon, the rising natal or hidden dragon in either sign are targeted by the 2023 Martian dragon. And Stefan was born with the sun, Venus, and a negative dragon still in Aries. All right. That's why he was a fighter. Like him, I was born with the same dragon, apart from that I had the head. Like George Foreman, you know the famous boxers? He was born with the head of the dragon in Aries. That's why he's still alive and kicking. Now, let's say Mrs. Bonner, talk, come and see me when, you know, her son is, uh, I don't know, 10, 15, or maybe she decided to have, like, it happened so many times in my work, a concerned mother who wants to know what's the best way to guide the kids outside of conventional directions, religion. Okay. So uh, I did stars of kids that were not born yet, not born yet, and for the parent to be totally blown away by realizing that all that I said came to pass. Take a chance, me to know you to find out, not only for you, but for your kids. Listen. I would have to tell her, you know what? Your son is aggressive, is impatient, is competitive. With me, broken nose, broken hand, broken arm, broken everything. All right. Okay. And uh, he wants to be 
a boxer, uh, you know what? I would recommend you to lead him towards his head of the dragon and use all this competitiveness for the world of Libra. Balance, education, harmony, beauty, the arts. That's what the dragon is all about. That's why I'm an artist. That's why I'm a you know, leader of the mind. Uh, would have she listened to me? Of course not. Or would he have listened to her mother? Of course not. Because people born in April have a tendency to never hear you. They don't listen. They talk nonstop. But they don't listen because they are the babies of the zodiac. They have to learn the hard way. If you tell an Aries, don't touch this. It's hot. The kid, don't touch this. You're going to burn yourself. Well, he's going to do it two or three times before he realizes that he's really hot. That's how I've learned the hard way. So I'm broken all over. But luckily, I escaped death because I'm protected with the head of the dragon in Aries. I should be dead so many times, all the accident and the fight and everything that I went through in my life. I'm still here at 73. So now it was handsome because Venus, the planet of love and beauty, was in his sign. He gave his heart pretty fast. He probably suffered quite a lot of heartache. That's the way it is. Um, and the tail of the dragon make him really, really much a natural warrior. And that's why a lot of these guys, UFC, sometimes die. It's blood of the head. It's tragic. Oh, it's common sense. Yeah, he got kicked in the head. Of course. But if he has the head in Aries, he won't die. Or he won't become blind or become crazy or commit suicide and telling Aries it's very very interesting type of dragon to desiccate since he had the head in Libra which is the seventh house which is the public he also had the moon in Libra all he wanted is balance and harmony and beauty that's a beautiful dragon for partnerships for love for Attracting large contracts, six-figure contract, even that he lost the fight. Okay, so in many ways, uh, you have to remember, Stefan has also Pluto in Libra, so he was attracted to a very, very powerful contract. As as and of course, Pluto is supreme wealth, but it's also death and drama. Now. I want to, you to pay attention to the reason why he died of a heart attack. You see, it's, it's right there. Look at this. Saturn, the great malefic. Saturn, the career builder. The hard work in the sign of Leo. Fame, power, building a stage. All in the fifth house of speculation, love, and romance. Saturn is constructive. Is is actually... Uh, regulating anything that's cold, your cold food, your bones, the structure, the goat, wanted to get to the top, such a politician structure, the Illuminati, politics. All in the sign of Leo, so he had to work so hard, so hard to get to where he wanted to go in the limelight. But the point is Leo rules the heart when you're putting a hell of a lot of stress on the heart, because he had the heart to fight. And so what happened to him? Well, the heart exploded, literally. Well, and then, you see, that's the house of death. And uh, when he died, it was during one of my plutonic, scorpionic negative window, and Uranus, the sudden release of energy, sudden death. Boom, gone, bye-bye. There you go. That's one of the best way and fastest way to read someone and understand why he died so suddenly and so abruptly because of his heart, Saturn, the restrictive, negative karmic planet to push him to get to the limelight at the same time killed him by putting too much stress on his heart. So now you got it. In the second house of money, of course, he's a Taurus. Black Moon is in Taurus. I doubt very much he knew about the Black Moon secret, the curse. Jupiter, the Lord of Light and Expansion, is in Gemini. Gemini, which means a lot of people talk about him, write about him, discuss about him on radio and television, newspaper, 
the Jupiter Lord of Luck blessing him in the world of Gemini. He was probably a joker. He liked to say jokes. And then uh, the power of fortune is also right there in the third house. So you know what? This little book here has 500 pages or so. Why don't you read it? Find out where your dragon is and connect with people who have the same dragon and follow their path or don't follow their path. You just have to be cautious. Again, this is why it's critical to become a VIP and be prepared ahead of time of when all those windows are going to get to you because any negative windows are... Uh, you're going to be experiencing in 2023. If you happen to be on your own, negative cosmic buy rhythm, bye-bye. You're gone. I've been doing this job for 30, 40 years. I can't even remember. Started naturally very young, digging into the stars. I know what I'm talking about. It's, it's real. It may have been stolen, taken away from us, but it doesn't take the reality that God don't speak to fools. Becoming a VIP is being warm or when to make plan because I can tell you what the weather is going to be in 10 years from now. I can tell you exactly because it's all mathematics and intuitive at the same time. The news never stop to come back and like the weather, it changes. And that's why I became a boat captain because if the weather is going to be bad, and believe me, I ain't going to go in the water. And I'm not going to take the chance of the people while paying me to go on fishing or see the whales or have a good time on the sandbars, right? You got a good captain. I'm a good captain in the water because I study. And I'm a good captain in the air because I can also fly. So become a VIP. Be smart. If you got to plan something for all the holidays, just check, check the cosmic codes. We're going to tell you a month ahead of you what the energy are going to be so you don't get stuck in a bad weather on Christmas. Chances are you'll be stuck because, you know, logic dictates it's bad weather. Right? That's normal. Yeah, That makes the difference between you coming back to your family with your family or not. So be cautious. Pay attention. God, don't speak to fools. Now, Christmas is coming. I mean, New Year is coming. Why don't you give something that's going to be beneficial? You're going to give a toy to a kid. I understand that. You're going to give him a bike. That's good. Why don't you invest also in his spirit and his future? And if he's a young adult, smart enough, curious enough, well, you know the, the question he asks you. If he talks about Jesus, you know he's lost. But if you start to talk about the stars and the future and he's curious and he's different, maybe you want to introduce him to my work or at least get him a copy of what God has in mind for him in 2023 or you or anybody else for that matter. It's a present that can change their lives. Now, if you intend to make really, really significant progress and and literally change your life and work for yourself. And if you have in your heart to help others and you feel it's your calling, hey, there's only one way. You must become cosmic conscious. And that's where I'm going to teach you from A to Z how to read the stars. No mathematics involved at all in my work. The software will take care of that, put it this way. Software I design. But it's critical to know uh, the dragon by house and signs, because there is more power in the dragon alone than the entire complexity of your chart. Again, the Bible verse says that you cannot comprehend or understand or search God's world. No way, Jose, that's wrong. And it's wrong. You can, but it's not for the faint. It's not for the idiot. It's not for the egocentric. It's not for the weak. It's for the superhuman. For those who, like you, are watching me and learning and wanted more, that's what my course is all about. And I can only do so much, and I only have so many years ahead of me. I've lost so many friends. It's a miracle that I made it to 73, honestly, with all I went through in my life. Okay? 
That's why maybe reading my book, Beyond the Secret, would make you aware of the powerful force emanating from your subconscious or the superconscious in time and space and use it. Follow my path. Nothing wrong with it. If you want to go into the spiritual world and shut down this reincarnation principle on this dense physical world, you can do it. But you got to pass on the wisdom and you got to pass on the experiences. You got to pass the tests. But you're going to get a test once you're done taking the course. So, again, there are other people who are not into the astrology. They are more psychic. They are spiritual. They don't have any memory. They're like me. They are ADD, whatever it is. <laughs> so, those people would rather deal with symbolism, the divine, the spirit, the psychic, mediumship, things of this nature. That involve all the secrets of the subconscious. And the divine message involving the 24 arcade of the tarot. So you can also learn the astro tarot in a different course. It's not a thousand dollars, it's half a price. It could be half a way to talk to Terra now. You have an email, you have a telephone if you have any questions. Uh, they start the new year with something very special that is to find yourself and find your way. And that's priceless. All right. All right, we are coming at the end of this meeting. Remember, we are now into the shocking news, explosion, airplane crash. We are into cosmic news. If you've been following me, you know what the quatrain and the keywords are all about. Children news, special videos, weird stuff, NASA. So perfect time, perfect time to... Get into the desert with your camera, okay? And expects the divine to work on your favor. And it's a perfect time also to make a commitment. Not for me. No, no, it's not for me. I got it all. Believe me. Make a commitment for yourself and for the children of the future to make this place that we call hell. Turn it into a paradise. As we're moving into the age of Aquarius, the age of intelligence, cosmic consciousness, connection with our space brother, space travel, that's going to bring back astrology, and that's going to bring back Jesus' cosmic ministry. And that is a beautiful vision. And if I could see, if I could see before I die, uh, my gosh, that would be a miracle. If I could see my first astrological school operational, I know. I know I would have done my job. And I know there will be hope for humanity. With this in mind, I wish all of you a fantastic Christmas on Christmas Day. And fantastic New Year. Bye-bye. God bless all of you.